two. Product for the reaction shown below. Show the stereochemistry of the product. Okay, so let me just first write down our reactant. So this is just an alkyne molecule because it has a triple bond. And it reacts with like this lithium metal complex. and ammonium chloride. Okay, so what happens during this reaction is that our alkyne is reduced to a trans alkene. So when we have a trans alkene, this is when our substituents are on opposite sides of a double bond. So I'll, I'll draw out the mechanism to show how the reaction takes place. And this happens with a very uh, strong reducing agent. So, and the catalyst with which is lithium metal. So the ethyl amine solvent is our reducing agent. Okay, so I'll draw the first step of the mechanism. So notice these are um, half arrows, which indicates that only one electron is being transferred. So in the first step, uh, lithium has a single electron, a well, yeah, single valence electron. In its valence shell, And it can readily donate to the alkyne. To form a radical intermediate. So radicals are very unstable, and it'll just look like a single electron on one of our carbons. 
So I'll draw the intermediate down here. And that is our newly formed radical. The triple bond is now a double bond. And we have a negatively charged carbon that is stabilized with the lithium right now. And then I'll just draw our ethyl amine up here. And this negatively charged carbon will come and deprotonate the amine. Give us another intermediate. And then another lithium, so our second mole of lithium comes in to help stabilize this radical. So I think it just donates one of its electrons to the radical. Draw a single half arrow. Sorry. And then our next structure has that same, like, negatively charged carbon. So now we have kind of a similar structure to our other intermediate. And now this carbon comes and deprotonates another ethyl amine. which gives us our final product. And then notice that our Structure is in the trans position, so meaning the two substituents, so that cyclohexane and that isopropyl group are in on opposite sides. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said.
The reaction above shows an alkyne. The reactions of alkyne typically center on the triple bond. The reagents given suggest that what would happen is an addition reaction, more precisely an anti-addition of H2. This would result in a product that would have a trans configuration. The product is trans 1-cyclohexyl 3-methylbut-1-ene with the structure below. Yep, so the solution is correct. Okay, so on to question number three.